Okay, so I had a client ask me how to get uh, the click track to not be a four count, I mean, not be an eight count, but a four count, and also wanted to know how to take all the counts out of the first eight counts and just have the talking track. So uh, you can use this method for several different things. If you want to just have just a four count, um, or if you want to do like what he's saying, and um, just, just have the... Uh, Q track tell you intro th two three four, uh, but just keep in mind that you can use this for uh, several different things. Also, uh, what I'm going to show you if you want to mute, say just part of a, a keyboard part out, say there's a keyboard solo and you don't want the keyboard solo in there, you can also use what I'm showing you here to mute that out as well. So what you do, first of all, you're going to on each clip you can actually automate. Um, volume or mute or anything you want on each clip you know you can mute uh, if I click on you know percussion I can actually mute some of this out like if I want to mute this section out I can mute this section out if I click on here if I want to mute this section out of the keyboard you know I can mute that out but you gotta call up the automation and how you do that is you go over to um, if if I wanted to automate volume then I would click I would I would hover over the over the volume arrow of the Pacific track that I want to automate that clip on. So um, uh, right now I'm going to automate this mute um, track on and off. So what I do is I hover over that. I would uh, right click, or um, if you're on a uh, MacBook, you would two finger click at the bottom, or uh, you could also hit uh, what is it? Option. Oops. Um, control click. That'll show you the thing. It's not, not actually. I'm sorry. It's option click. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. It's control click, and you, click, you see show automation. I never use that. I always just uh, two finger click at the bottom of my MacBook, and it clicks show automation. Now, if I click show automation, now you can see this little red line down here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this and hear it. Intro two three. So what he wants to do is he wants to take out these first eight counts and just have the intro two, three, four. So I do is here, grab my little pencil tool, go down here and draw the mute. So now it's muted all the way to there. So now it's going to sound like is this. Intro two, three, four. Now the click's off, but it's just a cue track. Another thing that he was wanting to know is how to make it start, instead of starting at um, an eight count in, just a four count in. So what you do is basically see this little slider? What I do is I usually go to the, uh, I usually go to the click track because that way I can see where it's at. And I'll take this bottom slider, not the top slider, the bottom one right here, and just move that in four, okay? So now you got to do that to each clip, but what you got to, uh, you don't really got to go through and move each clip and you can do that or you can just go over here and see where it says start um, it says start at two if I go here and move this back see how that changes back to one and I go back like that it goes back to two right there so now all I have to do is just click on each clip and just change that start point to two enter go to drums hit two enter percussion to enter bass. All you gotta do is just click in that box and you change it. Changes it by and then hit enter. Bass keyboards guitar and backing vocals. And there's one more over here. Lead vocal. I mean, you want to make sure you get them all, because otherwise it, they uh, they won't line up. But all you have to do is, if you don't get them all and it sounds weird, just go back and see which one doesn't have two by it. And make sure there's a two by it. Now, if I click on that, it just be a four count um, with just the voice before the click. Intro two, three, four. And that's how you do that. Now, if you want to go through and say. Um, let's find a part of the keyboard track. 
Intro, two, three, four. Intro. Say, if I wanted to actually bring this volume up, I'll just kind of do that for now. I'll just, um, I'll go over here and hit this volume. Show, show, um, show, show automation and then make sure I'm on the clip that I want to automate the volume for and I can actually draw in the automation and now only when it gets to that clip it'll raise the volume you can watch the little thing here sorry about my mail coming in there but intro two three four now watch my volume it's moving up Oops. keep watching the volume here Cranked all the top. Chorus, two, three, four. And drop back down there. Now, say if I wanted to mute that part out, what I would do is I have to go over on the same clip and I would click uh, either. Now that I'm already showing the automation, you can see this little envelope thing here. I can actually select that or I can just go. I can go here and right click, show automation, it'll go there, or I can go here, right here. It has um, speaker on and off, uh, track, pan, volume, uh, effects, so I can actually have, if I want to automate reverb coming on that track, I could just go, you know, it's ever coming on my, uh, my uh, FXN X or FX or Q track for Monder. I only have Monder right now hooked up, but if I had effects on there, I could actually automate reverb and stuff like that too, using the same method. But I'll do the, the mute. So say I want to mute this keyboard, um, you know, right here. I'm on I'm on speaker on off. I come over here. And I'm going to mute that. And now if I hit play, when it gets to that part, intro two, you can three, see this mute. four. It's not there yet. Coming up. First, two, Keep three, watching four. and mute. So I hope that helps you on that, and I'm going to show you on some more videos um, that I'm making. I'm going to show you on some more videos that I'm making right now on how to go from song to song a couple different ways. And that's it. If you're just watching this, you just got online, and you want to learn more, you can go over to BackingTracksCustom.com. The link's in the description.